The Defense Forces fighters managed to stop the occupiers from advancing in the direction of the city of Selidovo, but the assaults themselves have not stopped. This was stated in a commentary to LigaNet by Vitaly Milovidov, an officer of the National Guard Operational Brigade, Karadag. According to him, more than a week has passed since the Karadag fighters stopped the Russian advance in the Selidovsky area. The Russians have become more cautious and are no longer moving so openly since Ukrainian artillery and FPV drones are successfully operating here. Now the National Guard is trying to keep the invaders away from the infantry lines, reducing the number of close combats. However, the Russians are still storming almost to the last. To say that they got hit in the teeth somewhere and rolled back, they have no such practice at all. There is an anti-tank ditch near the Kotlyarevskaya mine in the vicinity of Selidovo. It is already filled with corpses and they are climbing through them and simply walking one after another. A terrible picture, the officer said. Also indicative is the lack of military equipment among the Russians in this direction. Its use is recorded in isolated cases, but the Russian Federation is beginning to use more guided air bombs and does not neglect to strike with high precision weapons at Ukrainian positions that they physically cannot pass through. According to the officer, in recent days the Russians have become more cautious and are less likely to form large groups for assaults. Melovidov does not believe that the enemy has run out of soldiers. The occupiers have simply taken a break to find more effective tactics. Recently, Russia deployed significant reserves of motorized infantry, amounting to up to a battalion, as well as up to two batteries of 155mm cannon and 122mm rocket artillery, including M777A2 and FH70 howitzers, as well as the RM70 Vampire MLRS in the Selidovo direction. After being supported by artillery fire and FPV drones, several tactical assault platoon units of the armed forces of Ukraine carried out a counter-offensive launch from the fortifications in the southern quarter of Selidovo towards the eastern part of the city, forcing units of the center group of troops to retreat to the northeastern outskirts of Selidovo in the area of fire station number 63. Apparently, regrouping and preparations for a new offensive of Russian army units in the central regions of Selidovo are now underway. In the small town of Koronivo, less than 20 kilometers from the Ukrainian border, Russian soldiers have been caught on video looting a children's clothing store named Kapitosha. The footage, posted by Michael Naki from the store's surveillance cameras, shows a uniformed Russian soldier removing cash from the store's register. And this is our Russian army, our defenders, a female voice off-camera comments on the video, captured on August 12th. A local resident, who chose to remain anonymous, confirmed the theft during a conversation with Astra, saying, the soldiers have broken into almost all the shops. The individual's family business also suffered losses due to the actions of the Russian soldiers, though the exact items stolen remain unknown. This incident follows a series of earlier August videos circulating online, showing Russian soldiers looting a Wildberries warehouse and a mobile phone store in the border region of Kursk region. The Russian military, angered by residents in Kursk and Belgorod oblasts, has stopped hiding its looting activities, focusing more on theft than defense. The Russian military is upset because locals in Kursk and Belgorod refuse to house them, lend them transport, or accept inflated prices at stores. One outraged soldier complained online, accusing residents of hindering their efforts by refusing to sell them water or rent them apartments, demanding they treat soldiers like their own children and provide for them. Meanwhile, Russian servicemen have posted videos on social media showing themselves looting homes and stealing vehicles in the very regions they are supposed to defend. Residents of Kursk also report that soldiers are indifferent to their personal belongings, including clothes and shoes.